Lesson 11.2, areas of parallelograms, triangles, and rhombuses, or rhombi. You can say them both. I looked it up. We jump right in with area theorems, and uh, it's parallelogram. The area is base times height. Now, I could just give you that and move on with our lives, but there's a couple of major points I want to be clear about. Number one, this is a rectangle. Doesn't look like it, does it? Well, I know it's a rectangle because it has the same area formula. So, how is it a rectangle? Well, if I take my chop saw out and I chop it off here and cut off this whole piece here, and then I take it and I place it over here, I have a rectangle. And I bring this up because you need to look at these area problems with different perspectives. Don't just be, what's the formula? What's the height? What's the base? Thank you. Done. You have to think about them. You have to be wise about them. The other reason I bring it up is everybody says base. It's the flat part at the bottom of the drawing. Well, I might have told you that this is 6 and this is 10. And you say, oh, the area equals 6 times 10 equals 60. And then I might say, well, this length over here is uh, 5. What is this distance here at a right angle? We'll call it x. A lot of people say, well, how the heck would I know? Well, my point is that this could easily be a base 2. And if it is, and you take this and you draw it sideways, this would be the height. Let's not call it h, let's call it height. So we would know that 5 times h equals the area. Well, we already figured out the area is 60. So the h would equal 12. Height would equal 12. If that's confusing. I have an pr example problem for that for you on that in a little bit. But just be clear that the base isn't always the very bottom of the diagram. You might have to spin it sideways and look at it. So that's what I'm saying here. A lot of people have done a lot of work with area when they're younger, and those problems are always given very easy, very straightforward. The concept of area is not that hard, so I'm going to make your life much more challenging. Here's the example. Ooh, I don't know what the height is. Well, I can figure it out here. 12, 60. This is 30 degrees. This is 6. This is 6 root 3. So 10 times 6 root 3 equals 60 root 3. Or I can say this is the base. Now I need to figure out the height this way. Well, this is 60 degrees. It's a parallelogram. This is 30 degrees. That's 10. This is 5. This is 5 root 3. So the area would be... 12 times 5 root 3, 60 root 3. So be aware that you may have to look at these problems in different ways. That's it. This one kills me. Just me personally. You'll get it. Here you have the triangles, one half the base times the height. And that makes sense because if you look at a triangle... It's like saying half of a parallelogram, base, height, whole thing would be base times height. The part we're looking at, the triangle, would be half of it. So, simple enough. It kills me because I always forget the one half. I have no idea why. I always forget it. It's the silliest thing for a math teacher. I want to point out. You have to recognize the base. Remember, that's perpendicular. The height is perpendicular to a base. So we got a 6 here and a 9 here and a 8 here and a height of 7. We'd have to say, okay, well, it's 
1 half, 9 times 7. A lot of people will shove an 8 and a 6 in there. So the area is 63 over 2. Because that's where the height is perpendicular to the base of 9. So there's three possible bases. Be smart. Don't just plug and chug and pray that it works out. Now the area of a rhombus, whoops, spilled a drink all over my textbook and I can't read it. So you'll have to figure it out. Eh, not too bad, Arambus. I hope you remember Arambus is perpendicular. So we want to do a formula where we know the whole length of this diagonal. We'll call this diagonal 1. We'll call this diagonal 2. Well, that's asking a little bit too much right off the bat, so we'll just call this x and y. We know the area of this little triangle here is 1 half x times y. And we know that there are four triangles that are all the same because it's a rhombus, four congruent triangles. So the area of the rhombus is equal to 4 times that. So it's 2 times xy. However, the diameter is 2x. This x is just this length here. The diameter is 2 of them. And diameter 2 is 2y. So if we look at that and we solve, say x is diameter 1 over 2. y is diameter 2 over 2. And plug them back in, the area of a rhombus is equal to 2 times d1 over 2 times d2 over 2. And you've probably been lost for a while now since these cancel and that doesn't. If you know the diagonals of a rhombus, multiply them together, multiply by 1 half. That's the area of a rhombus. I don't bother with this formula at all. I know how a rhombus works, so I break it into triangles, find the area of each triangle, and multiply them up. That's just me. That's it. Good luck.